Hello, beautiful guys and girls. We are here with another video. You know, you hear me breathing because we are on top of a castle. On top of a castle, guys. There is the lake. We are on top of the castle. And I've been climbing all the way up with my bicycle. And yeah, we're breathing. <laughs> so in this video, we'll speak about the fifth dimension, guys. I'm gonna say a lot of wisdom about uh, this state of consciousness, this new world, these new energies, this uh, this is heaven on earth and uh, we all eventually will get there. So in this video, we're gonna do a bicycle vlog and uh, we'll speak a lot about the fifth dimension. You know, everything that crosses my mind, everything that I understand until now, because the fifth dimension is um, a world a new world that is the unknown okay and we all discover that uh, as a human race as humanity we discover that at this moment okay so it's something new it's the unknown and uh, i'm gonna say what uh, um, i get until this moment and how uh, t tips and uh, tricks to get there faster because it's, it is higher intelligence, it is the truth of who you are. And when you are in the fifth dimension, you know, you have all this world, all this world over here that uh, you can experience, you can experience with your five senses. But when you are in the fifth dimension, another layer opens up and that is uh, the layer of energy. That is uh, the oneness that is uh, the origin uh, you have access to the quantum field and the quantum field is uh, what uh, dictates the matter and what unites us all in the quantum field in the realm of energy everything th that is a field above time okay everything exists as electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic potential Th there is frequency frequency that uh, our mind when uh, we connect can become aware of that frequency. I'm gonna say everything in detail, so let's uh, get up on the bicycle. Look at this beauty, guys. Let's get up on the bicycle. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this here, of course. I'm gonna put this here. And yeah, see in a bit. Let me fix this. So, fifth dimension, guys. Fifth dimension. A whole new world, another layer is open, open up. You have access to the energy. Uh, let's go down here. Let's hope, uh, we don't hope. We just go down. Tourist. Okay, look at, at the beauty of this place. <laughs> okay, fifth dimension is a state of consciousness. Okay. <laughs> my new tires, my new tires are super hard, guys. I changed tires because I, I, I was on the bicycle shop all the time changing changing the internal of the tire, guys. But those new tires are super hard. I don't think they will ever get a puncture, I don't know. They're super hard. Do you see this place? This place is magical. Fifth dimension, guys. Look at this. <laughs> when you are uh, in the fifth, dim fifth, fifth dimension, actually, is um, you know everything is frequency. Is it fifth dimension? Is a new energy. It 
is a new energy it is just a new energy and of course it's uh, the realm is the frequency band of uh, unconditional love it's oneness it's a really high energy when you experience the fifth dimension your human body is uh, vibing it is in super high frequencies okay and uh, the, the feeling the state of being is like heaven on earth okay let's get down here because it's uh, heaven on earth it's the realm of unconditional love it's um, the realm of being you're in a state of being let's get here first what it feels to experience the fifth dimension okay you experience time in a whole different way time in, in the fifth dimension time is actually infinite you realize you don't die you, you don't know you, you, you realize you are a, a multi-dimensional being living a human experience and uh, this human experience is now becoming dimensional it's actually becoming multi-dimensional and uh, of course you realize that uh, this reality is an illusion when you are when you have um, when you experience the fifth dimension you realize that uh, this reality is very limited there is so much more you experience the truth of time 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 is illusory you know and eternal at the same time you, you experience uh, uh, I mean uh, you, you are in the present moment when you are in the fifth dimension you are in a state of being it's uh, it's uh, I mean past present and future are happening at the same time that's how you experience time and you have access your access to past, present, future is equal to your creative imagination. That's your access because you realize when you experience the fifth dimension, you realize. Wait. For some reason, this is super down. <laughs> I think we are good. See. Bring it up. You realize that uh, nothing is fixed. Actually, you you have access to energy. To the you are a divine creator. You you can change energy and then you change matter. You can manipulate energy, and you realize that this reality is not fixed. It is always changing, based. Uh, on your frequency and you realize that uh, in that realm in the quantum realm in the fifth dimension you are no longer limited you are no longer limited by the Newtonian physics literally in the 3d world okay you have you you, you want this okay you want uh, this, you want this goal, you want to have this body, 
you want to have this relationship you want that uh, okay what you do is you lack that at this moment you lack it you are not that okay and you want, you want this to fill this gap what you do is you get uh, uh, you, you do um, certain things you get information uh, you are matter trying to trying, trying to change matter okay you will do this you will manipulate you will steal you will you will move in time okay you will move in time and that eventually uh, might get you there on the end result might get might get you if you keep that desire alive and if you keep holding that and doing different things getting different information trial and error might get you there if you make it but uh you will waste a lot of energy and a lot of time a lot of time in the quantum creation in the fifth dimensional creation you realize that uh, it's your beliefs that create your reality so you change your beliefs and that reality that you desire is coming to you and when you change your beliefs you you you, you are not uh, limited by the newtonian physics because you have access in the realm of energy you have access in the future for example you, you use your creative imagination you tap into your third eye and you can access that future you know with your imagination imagine yourself how would you live there how would it be to have that relationship to have that job to have those ma to have that money to be abandoned okay and you have because the fifth dimension is uh, the realm of being you have to be there with your consciousness you have to be that guy in that future that means you have to think like that guy and you have to feel the emotions of that future ahead of your of your time that literally changes the body changes your beliefs the more you do it you know the more you become that person in that future and you are not you, you are not affected by time and uh, by uh, Newtonian physics that this is happening uh, in uh, in your mind okay when you are in the fifth dimension meditation is your state of being you are in a meditative state 24 7 guys you don't need to do any meditations you 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 are in that meditative state and you have access to infinite timelines equal to your creative imagination that means that i, I don't know what you experience in this uh, screenshot what i experience is uh, very limited you know my mind uh, you know now i talk to you i experience this and uh, my mind is uh, in that future reality and i leave the emotions of that guy in that future reality into the present moment and that changes my whole entire body chemistry you know that's a, a that's a dimensional creation okay okay this this is another level this is another level in your reality because literally in the fifth dimension you realize that uh, your thoughts create your reality you create reality with your thoughts and with your emotions okay thoughts are the language of the mind emotions are the language of the body and uh, in the fifth dimension you realize that you create reality that each thought and each emotion is uh, that you give your power to that you give attention to that you believe to to say it in another way whatever you believe you create okay that that means either either if it is conscious either it, if, if it is unconscious what is unconscious you believe it okay it's a deep belief either if it is in your dreams okay you create based on that thought and that emotion you create the whole reality because your thoughts and your emotions are changing your frequency and uh, in the fifth dimension state of consciousness you realize that and you become a conscious creator you are really mindful of what you are thinking and what you are feeling and you can now change your beliefs 
by using your creative imagination and, and, and living different timelines. It's all your state of being. You have to be it. A good uh, fifth dimensional habit that you have to develop. Ah, before we get there, everything exists in the quantum field as electromagnetic potential. Everything is frequency there. To say it in a more scientific way, in order to go from point A to point B in this physical world, you have to move in time. You have to spend energy, you have to move through the um, Newtonian laws. And you have to spend a lot of time and a lot of energy. And that is called time from A to B. In the quadrum, everything is frequency. In order to go from point A to point B, you experience a change in frequency. That frequency has consciousness. Time is infinite. And uh, that you experience that, that consciousness as dimensions, as places, as um, uh, uh, how to, to say it as places. And so in that realm, you collapse dimension, you, you collapse. Uh, places you collapse realities do you understand that that's the difference between when you create through that uh, state of being you, you you know the experience is coming to you you, you, you your thinking and feeling is like a radio I, okay and if you change your thoughts and feeling you change the your frequency and uh, if you align in a different frequency, you access a different reality in the quantum field. But there are infinite realities. You know, all the realities exist there, your past life, your future lives, uh, everything. This is how you experience the fifth dimension. And you can tap into each one equal to your creative imagination. And that's, that is the realm of oneness. A whole different uh, way of creating. That's in a more scientific way, though. So, a, a good... A good... Uh, thing... To do, a good thing to do that will get you to that uh, level of consciousness faster. Is to become a detached observer, to observe the 3D world without attachment, acknowledge it for what it is, the realm of duality, the realm of separation based on fear, you know, uh, but just observe it, acknowledge it, accept it, it is what it is. You, you are a social man, you don't create in that world, you create the new world, you bring trains, you don't fight what you hate, you create what you love. That's a very basic habit that you have to develop if you want to access the fifth dimensional energy. And that begins from within you first, by becoming a powerful, detached observer of your own thoughts and your own emotions. Through the art of meditation, through the art of meditation, you have to, you have to become that. The more you become familiar, the more you observe your unconscious mind, your thoughts your, and your emotions without attachment, the closer you get to the fifth dimension. Okay, it's a long road, but eventually we, we all get there. Another habit is you have to let go for, of all intellectual ideas and uh, of all attachments, of, uh, of all wants, of all you know, expectations. You, you have to let go. In other words, you don't expect anything. I mean, you are not attached 
to the end result of anything. For example, you haunt, uh, you like that person and you keep uh, forcing the relationship, keep forcing that because you want the end, you want the end result. You want to feel the emotion of having that person in your life. Okay, you have to let go of that. <laughs> You have to become that first. So, you have to let go of that and you have to create through your heart space. You have to stop creating through polarity because if you react to that from a fifth dimensional perspective, you already know that this has already been created in your mind and now you, you experience it in uh, through your five senses in uh, the physical reality. Okay, you know that from a fifth dimensional perspective. So if you react uh, to everything that uh, this reality brings to you, you create from your past. Okay, you create from a previous state of mind. Okay, so you no longer act unconsciously in your creation. You are actually detached. Th that's a very important thing to understand and that's really hard to for the ego to get it that's really hard do we record okay we record <laughs> wait can you can you see me Whoop. Mm? that's really hard for the ego to understand you have to stop creating from uh, the, realm, the realm of polarity you have to get into the union of polarity you have to get into your heart space this dimension is uh, is the realm of being it's uh, it's the realm of unconditional love there you create through the heart space through the union of polarity through a higher mind what is unconditional love unconditional love is the truth of who you really are it's not it's not like the love you have experienced so far in your life. It's not. Uh, it's not love. It's not last. It's not conditional. It's not uh, what unconditional love is, which is the realm of the fifth dimension. Is uh, an energy that uh, will bring you real freedom. That you you will experience a real joy. That will purify you that will you in uh, in the presence of unconditional love when you experience this fifth dimensional energy when you experience the truth of who you are this energy is gonna come from within you it is not from this realm from this time dimension when you experience this energy you will feel naked you will be naked you will experience true freedom this energy is timeless. Unconditional love penetrates dimensions. Okay, it's uh, what unconditional love will do. It's a very powerful energy, guys. It will cleanse your darkness. It will purge away your darkness slowly. What, what it will do is, it will, it won't stop you from uh, setting boundaries. Boundaries, you know, from, uh, you know sharing your ideology but from believing your ideology from fighting for your ideas from fighting from from for truth it would make you a doormat unconditional love what we do is it will gently push you until you become aware of the unmanifested and when you are there you are spiritually awakened you are in the fifth dimensional energy when you become aware of the unmanifested of the realm of energy that is unconditional love that is the realm of the fifth dimension very high state of being it's like i've experienced that a lot i'm tapping into the fifth dimensional energies a lot right now and i'm gonna say everything that i learned to get there this is heaven on earth guys i've been especially in the beginning of my spiritual awakening I've been in such a super high state of being that is literally heaven on earth every cell 
is it's ecstasy, it's bliss, it's unconditional love, it's super high frequency. It's uh, heaven on earth, it's a state of being. Heaven is a state of being, a state of consciousness. And um, I'm gonna say with you everything that uh, <laughs> let's hope this is recording everything that uh, helps you get there okay the first uh, thing you have to do is to become a detached observer then create through your heart space through the union of polarities then you have to do what you're passionate about okay do what you're passionate about the next thing you have to do is because your body is working 100% when you try to embody those energies, your whole body is changing. The next thing you have to do is to, to really rest, to exercise, to rejuvenate, to practice self-love, to practice self-care, listen to your body, listen to your intuition and let your body rest. Get in touch with nature for as much as possible literally get in touch with nature Gaia is on the fifth dimension already get in touch with this with this beauty get in touch as much as possible the next thing you have to do is you have to change your whole entire diet you have to eat to live what uh, uh, works for me is uh, 80% vegan a lot of water I, li I always listen to the thirst mechanism of the body a lot of water electrolytes, balanced electrolytes because that's necessary for the cell to get the water inside you have to have balance in uh, uh, the electrolytes outside and inside the cell follow the thirst mechanism and balance them it's calcium, uh, uh, potassium, uh, chlorium, uh, natrium, and magnesium inside and outside the cell. So you can have a flow of water inside the cell. Those must be balanced. Listen to the first mechanism. Know your body. Balance them out because during uh, the transition phase from, uh, the fifth, from the third dimension to the fifth, that transition phase is happening in the fourth dimension you have to be really good hydrated and your body speaks okay that's another tip 80% vegan no gluten no dairy no sugar trust me on that that's life changing uh, that means uh, you, you almost can't eat anything that is processed <laughs> I don't eat anything and you don't need that of course and that's another good tip. The next tip is to, to really get uh, around positive people, people that are already in the fifth dimension energy, that already, uh, that already, uh, that their minds are free, their heart is light as a feather, that they are evolved. Surround yourself with those people. And around positive people, it's super important. Spend time with those people. And, uh, Another, another tip is to have routines, for example, to, to, routines to work out, to meditate, time to meditate. It, it, actually, if you are experiencing the fifth dimension, you can meditate everywhere. I, I, I just meditate here, I talk to you, and I, I'm in a state of being. Uh, <laughs> I feel uh, gratitude, the emotions of the future, it's different, but until you get there, it's a ride. Okay, so you can have your different practices, meditation, working out, self-love, self-care. Th that's the most uh, important thing, actually. And, uh, you know, fill your mind with that, as much information as possible, but fifth dimensional information, guys get information from the higher realms, learn to discern what is true and what is not, learn the language of energy. This is what helped me along my journey. And uh, in the fifth dimension is where all the magic is happening. <laughs> Synchronicities, the whole uh, 
the whole browser is um, you know is responding to you <laughs> the whole life is becoming interactive how the air moves how the trees are you know how the leaves on, of the tree moves the bird that is singing right now me that i'm talking this guy that is running in front of us everything is directive everything is speaking to you and the universe has infinite ways to give you the message the universe can use everything in your past present future and the, in the fifth dimension you communicate you know your you, you, your the doors of your awareness are open and uh, it's another it's another level of being guys the reality is becoming much more freer you know infinite possibilities you can do anything you can be anything but yeah if the universe from a fifth dimensional perspective the universe uh, can communicate to you through through anything this experience that we live now in this video if you want to understand the fifth dimension see it as the youtube now you tapped you checked in into this video which uh, it had a, a thumbnail and uh, this is our reality at this moment this is your reality in your home at this moment that's thumbnail and uh, you tapped into this thumbnail into this video that i created here that we created together actually because you were a frequency match you are in that reality in your home right now watching this video because you are a frequency match to that reality if you wanna change the video what you do on youtube is you click back on your browser and uh, you go to another video in order to do that in your life if you wanna change your life you have to change your beliefs you have to change your frequency and to go to another uh, to another um, uh, life to change your life that means in order to go to something new something has to die your old self has to die your old reality has to die you have to close the previous video okay in order to watch the other one that means you can't go to your new life by being your old self you literally have to change what what most people are doing at this moment and what i was doing my whole life i was struggling no pain no gain sweat blood and tear i was trying to be to go to a new reality by being the person i am at this moment that's impossible you have to change your frequency guys and you change your frequency by changing your beliefs and that's a quantum creation okay and uh that's not something that you swallow with one bite you have to to practice it you have to live it you have to to become aware of the quantum of the quantum field and that takes time that takes the training discipline patience resilience to overcome the creation of your older mind because from a fifth dimensional perspective i created this experience i created this experience for my evolution that means this is my creation this is me we are all one okay and if you are smart and of course of course you are you don't judge your creation you don't attach to your creation the fifth dimension you observe without attachments and you change you change your internal world to change the problem in that reality and uh, that that is where all your power lies all your power lies inside you guys it is all inside you waiting for you to unlock it and this new consciousness is waking up to all of us and there we are all real leaders we we are all leaders in our lives we are all the heroes of our lives and that uh, high intelligence that new state of consciousness unites us all from within and that's that is the fifth dimension the realm of oneness no separation guys we are all one <laughs> and yeah uh it's uh 
uh, fifth dimension is we, we can talk for ages, we can talk for hours actually about this. So this uh, was, uh, uh, it, uh, you know, a video about the fifth dimension where I described a little bit the fifth dimension in simple terms. And some uh, tricks, some habits that are going to help you to get there. And uh, yeah, we, we're going to relax in my soul place. This is my new soul place, guys. You saw it in my previous videos as well. I come here a lot, especially when I'm cycling. So yeah, guys. Let me close this video. So yeah, this one is a long video, but when we are speaking about the fifth dimension words are uh, limited in that realm and so uh, you need a lot you need a lot to describe this world so for all of you that you are watching this in the future keep going <laughs> i know i feel like I'm not from this time. <laughs> See you in the future, guys. See you in the future. If everyone sees this in the future, um, I don't know. Meet me in your intuition. So, this is the video for today, guys. See you in the future. If you like this message, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Support the channel. And until next time. I will be here uh, experiencing this. <laughs> Bye.